There is this video or podcast by Gestalt IT. The title is Network Engineering is a Dying Career Field. This is an interesting topic, and I really like the discussion initiated by the moderator, Tom Hollingsworth, together with his two guests, Andy Laptev, the host and co-creator of the Art of Network Engineering podcast, and Remington Luce, the network architect for Dynamics Group. So why am I doing this? Because I'm a network engineer with many specialization and with different experience, with different perspective. So for those who are not familiar with me, I have over 50 Cisco certifications, over five F5 certifications, over six Arista certifications. I also have certifications that are related to cloud and servers. And a few of those 70 plus certifications, few of those are expert level. I am certified in delivering over 60 course titles, and I specialize in network security, network automation, software-defined networking or SDN, container networking, AWS cloud networking, application load balancing, and cloud security. And I just want to highlight my skills are not limited to Cisco switching and routing. So let's begin. At 2 minute and 35 second mark, Andy says, I'm not going to tell my kids to go for network engineering. You know, I would. And here is my reason. If you start a network engineer, it would be easier for you to transition to a security engineer, SOC engineer, or even cloud engineering. There are many network engineer who doesn't only do routing and switching. Many network engineers are responsible in managing next generation firewalls and other security appliances and uh, even application load balancers. And those application load balancers sometimes runs web application firewall or WAF. Some network engineers, especially those data center network engineers, also works with servers and virtualization. And this knowledge will make it easier for you to transition on becoming a cloud engineer. So you see kids, being a network engineer doesn't mean you will be forever a network engineer. At 7 minutes 05 second mark, Remington says, start with help desk role or lower IT or technical functions. He indirectly said, or he put it in a nice way, but what he really meant was, help desk role are for losers. He also mentioned that the real network engineering component has been fading. I don't want to say it's fading. The engineering that has been modernized because some of the greater problems, or should I say worse problems in the past has been fixed. As we have more bandwidth, we have more processing power, more storage, higher port capacity, and many others. At 9 minute 05 second mark, there was a question from customer, how many of my people I can get rid of if I buy your automation solution? Alright, so before I answer that, Andy also see that the cloud is a big threat for network engineers. Alright, um, I think the brighter side of this is using network automation leads to a better productivity, less human errors and network engineers would be able to do other things because some of their tasks are automated. And it's more like we just need to hire less people rather than let's fire people. Or on the management side, let's add security related tasks to our network engineers because some of their tasks are already automated. Now, is cloud really a big threat for network engineers? All I can say is, Network engineers or the old school network engineer should adapt to the new school cloud network engineering. At 10 minute 25 second mark, there was a discussion network engineering is not as sexy as cybersecurity. Well, cybersecurity role is not as cool as it sound or look as they show it in TV and other media. There's a lot of reading, a lot of analysis and a lot of geekiness in cybersecurity. The only fun part of cybersecurity is if you are a professional hacker and have successfully stolen lots of money online. Or if you are a pretentious hacker, got caught, convicted, and goes to jail. 
that is the real fun part. Anyway, the Jack Warner story is on point. Many people want to have that cool role and that high salary, but doesn't want to do that dirty work. <laughs> so um, there was also mentioned that many people doesn't want to experience those mistakes that we had before. Things like accidentally forgetting add command in trunk VLAN configuration. This is a good response from Chris. At 30 minute mark, there was a discussion, uh, network engineering as a shrinking career field because stuff has been good enough. Not as much maintenance as before. Networks are faster, more reliable. Wi-Fi is more advanced. This is somewhat true, you know? What else? Oh, junior folks will not experience some of the things we experienced in the past. But for me, there will always be a new network infrastructure to build, whether it's enterprise or data center networks. Shrinking career? I don't think so. I would say there are more opportunities in the past and less younger generation would want to pursue network engineering career. At 15 minute, 23 second mark, there was a question, did we engineer the engineering out of the network? The answer to this is absolutely. Over the years, we made a significant improvement on our network. Before, think about this. Before, we used token ring. Before, we used ISDN. We used dial up. We used hubs and many others. And kids nowadays, they don't even know these technologies. All of these are gone now. Now, blocking ports caused by SDP and MPLS is starting to get obsolete. And thanks to SDN or Software Defined Networking and SD-WAN technologies. And if you manage cloud networks like AWS, think about this, you don't do switching. There was no SDP, there was no port channel. You skip many things. You focus on routing and VPCs. At 20 minute 48 second mark, there was this question. How can we make network engineering cool again? Here's my question. Here's my counter to that question. Is network engineering really cool? For a few people, maybe, but for majority, absolutely not. Let me ask you this. How often do you see network engineering involved in a movie or TV series? I can't recall any. It's almost always related to cybersecurity and applications. Or ask this, ask this to younger generations. What IT specialization do they want to pursue? And large percentage would answer cloud engineering and cybersecurity. Network engineering, not so much. At 24 minute 05 second mark, they said the network engineering job will not go anywhere. Well, everyone is connected through your enterprise land or your data centers. What else? Everyone is using the internet. So everyone is connected to telcos or internet service provider and even cloud. So who do you think will maintain those networks? Help desk, get out of there. All right, so here's what I can say as a network engineer or as an IT professional. We, as a network engineer, we need to adapt with the evolving technologies to the modern networks. So the old school network engineering is good to learn about it, but we need to learn the more modern network technologies. Adapt to cloud networking, adapt to network automation or network security. This podcast video has been really good and I enjoyed listening to their discussion. However, I don't agree that network engineering role is limited to just switches and routers. Network engineering involve next generation firewall, next generation IPS, application load balancing, NAC or network access control, and of course, wireless technologies. So what do you think everyone? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.